Hi all. We're going to put the plow slick on my plow. Got that plow over there. It's a it's a poly plow. Plastic. First thing I did was I cleaned it up. You know, I rubbed it down with some sandpaper. On most of the plow, the, the metal, I tell you, I use a knife. That seems to uh, get a lot of the rust off because on this plow, there's like a plastic coating. And when uh, when the metal starts to rust, that plastic coating peels off. So I found that just a simple kitchen knife works best. You know, of course, I use steel brush and stuff like that, and basic sandpaper. And, but this is the part I think that's important in case you haven't heard about this stuff this is rust reformer it's supposed to uh, see here it says instantly converts rust to a paintable surface so I guess you don't have to sand down to the metal So you see here it says stops rust. I get it at Walmart. It's in the auto section by the Bondo. Uh, I did find it where the regular spray paint was. You know the auto section was out. And I went over to the regular paint. I found some there. So it's pretty expensive. It's probably like uh, five ninety seven a can or. 497 a can something like that so when you paint around the uh, plow itself the mold board you get some thick tape you know you can't do it with the thin tape it's just take forever so two inch roll of masking tape really comes in handy okay so last year was the first year I used the plow slick I did a video on, on that. You can check that out. This year, I'm going to put on a second coat. So what I did was I, I just used a piece of sandpaper and a piece of pipe foam here. And that seemed to work real good, sanding down the plastic plow. I, I just went over it real lightly to uh, give it a gritty surface. So the plow slick will stick to it. So the plow slick is just kind of like a paint. A clear paint. So I just got done sanding it. And I touched up a couple rust spots that I missed a few weeks ago when I cleaned it up. Now I'm going to wipe it down with this stuff. This is from Walmart. It's right next to the, uh, where all the chemicals are in hardware. The uh, scrapers and things like that. It's probably five bucks for a little bottle. It's just a cleaner. It gets the dust and the grease and stuff like, stuff like that. Then, 15 minutes or so after that dries we'll do the plow slick now I'm okay so now I'm kind of experimenting this year this was supposed to be a one-time thing here but what I did was last year I only used half of it and that was plenty to cover the plow plus a few shovels I put it on a few shovels too so there was plenty there so you can see this stuff didn't get hard during the summer 
but this one I kept shaking this up during the year but it's still it's getting a just getting a little gooey so I'm hoping it works uh, the one time the one time purchase I forget what it was it wasn't cheap it's was 30 40 bucks okay so we'll go over that later uh, it's basically just a clear coat that covers your plow okay uh, let's go over and look at it and I'll show you what I'm talking about how I sanded it here you can tell that it's a uh, it's just like a clear it's almost like a polyurethane that you put on furniture and down along the edge here you'll be able to see where it broke off see like right in here you can tell that's down to the plastic it's kind of hard to tell now that I sanded it, but, but yeah, you can see like here's here's the plow slick, and then here's the plow itself, this plastic part. So I just gave this a little once over with the sandpaper, and I'm gonna try to just put another coat on it. I don't feel like sanding it right down to the bare plastic I don't think that would be necessary but we'll see there was a couple big chunks off you can see here it's right down to the plastic I guess it wouldn't take much to scrape that off I'm getting it with my fingernail uh, the top part up here it's still coated really good because that really never got used a lot it didn't really snow much here last year but uh, this bottom part got used a little bit uh, I think it's really worth the money because the first year I had it the snow would stick to here and uh, you know, I'd, I'd try to clean it off pretty quick, but uh, I beat it off with a steel shovel and it wouldn't come off. It was froze. It was froze right to here. I bent the shovel trying to get the snow and ice off of it. That's how hard it was. And then last year when I used the plow slick, barely anything stuck to it. Maybe a couple small little chunks here and there, you know, two, three inches or so, five inches. I did that one video where I show how it worked. It's definitely worth it. Uh, I heard about it through one of my viewers, happened to make a comment, and uh, I found it online. I only found it through one store. It's, it's actually a, a uh, it's like a carpet store, uh, you know, a floor store, a flooring store over in Cleveland. And they just happened to sell this product through their eBay store. So I bought it. So seems to work. Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down. And then we'll read through some of the directions here while we're waiting for this to dry. Okay, so this is the second year I've used this. It's pretty thick. I don't know if it's going to work. So, I think what I'm going to do is 
just pour that clear stuff in the bottle. See, you're supposed to mix them. See, last year I took three inches out, left three inches. Then I did the same thing with, with that one. I, I took half. I shake this up good. I'm going to use a funnel so I don't miss. So on here it says plow slick, read all instructions and safety precautions before use. Mix at the instructed ratio or plow slick will not dry. It dried last year. PSX-700 PSX-700 hardener part B. Do not reuse bottles. Keep out of reach of children. Okay. And then we'll shake this up. See if it see if it mixes. I think last year it looked like a, a milk. I don't remember for sure. So it's it's really thick. So let's let that sit for a minute. So it recommends using this one fourth nap brush. I got these at Home Depot, I think, but the, I saw them at Walmart too. And it's just so. Uh, for like painting the finer surface, you know, it's not, it's not real uh, bristly. And, uh, I just bought one of these. It just slides on here like that. Okay, I've seen cheaper ones like this. This would be like a one-time use, I guess. Well, I, I guess this will slide off. You want to use it again? Wear safety glasses and gloves because you never know what's in this stuff. Here, this is plow slick. Read all instructions and safety precautions before use. Mix at the instructed ratio or plow slick will not dry. No, that's the same as the other bottle. Okay. I guess I gotta use it all now. I mixed it right. I think I'm only, ooh, geez, look at that. That that must have been in the bottom. There's some really thick parts in here. So if it don't dry, I'll wash it off. Right, Ma? Huh? If it doesn't dry, I'll wash it off. <laughs> Okay, so what I was talking about here, there's some there's some pretty good sized chunks here. Didn't mix up. This must have been sitting in the bottom. There's a few more. I'd shake it at least once a, once a month or so, trying to keep it mixed up. Not looking promising, huh?
this is a small spoon probably would have worked better here I think that'll do There's a lot of chunks. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is paint the bottom first, and then if I have more, I'll come back and do the top. We'll see how far this goes. Don't let it puddle. That's, that's all those big pieces. Mm. Mm. Scoop out your big pieces. Smash them down. I could have put it in the blender. Oh. <laughs> it looks like snot. Yeah. <laughs> Dries. 
it should it should dry with some proper proportions. But uh, this is the second year, so Starting to thicken it up in there. Okay, see ya.